I'm Alexandra Vitale with BuffaloBills.com. We're here at the Buffalo Bills Alumni Association VIP Gala, where tonight I caught up with a few former Bills players to talk about tonight's events and more. The key word to this story is familiar. Not only is Williams back in his hometown where he's close to family and friends, but he's also close to coaches who he's known for years. Head coach Doug Marone and assistant strength and conditioning coach Tal Luther. I'm Alexander Vitale with BuffaloBills.com. It's been a long time coming, but tonight is finally the night that Andre Reed was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Welcome to From the Sidelines. I'm your host, Alexander Vitale. The Bills will travel to Houston this weekend to take on the Texans in this week four matchup. Both of these teams going into the game two and one, and actually this is the first time the Bills will face former teammate Ryan Fitzpatrick. Here's Chris Brown with Bills Focus, presented by At Wall Eye Care. Welcome back to From the Sidelines. Earlier this week, I had a chance to talk with Bills linebacker Preston Brown about how his rookie season is going so far. Uh, I mean, it's been going well. I mean, we got a winning record right now. That's the biggest thing. Is this a playoff team? Yes. I feel that 100% without a doubt that we are a playoff team. Who do you like to emulate your playing style after as a tight end? Who's some guys on the team that have really been influential for you, you know, from your rookie year to this year? Um, a lot of guy, older guys in the secondary. In, in past interviews, you've talked about holding oneself accountable. Do you see this Bills team doing that? Oh, absolutely. You know, each and every day the mental errors are going down. So, you know, that's definitely progression. So what are you planning on doing as far as shutting him down against Detroit? He's all about trying to, um, trying to slow him down. What do you think is going to be crucial for you guys to do to win these next couple of games? Um, first of all, we got to win. Uh, we got to score. Uh, we got to make plays. And uh, we got to finish the season 3 0. Does that give a lot of pressure to you guys going into this game? Or is it kind of like, you know, we're home, we're going to do our thing? Well, it's not really pressure, but it's, it's a big game. We right, know it's a big sure. game. You had 16 interceptions in college, and now you have two in the NFL. What do you look for in opposing QBs that helps you get those picks? It's all about watching film, preparation. Alongside President and CEO of the Buffalo Bills, Russ Brandon. Russ, thanks for being here. And your relationship with Andre led to the collaboration of the speech that you wrote for him. Yeah, it, it really was an honor. He asked me a few years back, he said, when I get in, because it was never a question of if, would you help me out with the speech? And I said, absolutely. Andre, talk about tonight's events and what makes it so special. Well, I mean, obviously we're here for Ralph and, and the legacy that he has uh, given the NFL and given Western New York. Um, you know, what more can you say about what he's done for this region, what he's done for the whole town, for the NFL? Um, that's why we're here. That's why we're celebrating his life. And uh, it'll continue to go on. The moment that you've been waiting for, that we've all been waiting for, is when the commissioner introduces you as the 16th overall pick. Right. And you're walking on stage, and I mean, what kind of emotions and feelings are going through your mind at this point? I'm Alexandra Vitale with BuffaloBills.com, and right now I'm joined by running back for the Buffalo Bills, Anthony Dixon. Anthony, thanks for being here. Second preseason game against Carolina. You look great out there. Overall assessment on that game and your performance. Yeah, I think it was. I think it was decent. Um, I would like to uh, did better, you know. But uh, you know, we got a W, and that was the main goal. What aspect of this team has been most improved, in your opinion? Uh, I think you know our quarterbacks. You know, uh, with with EJ being in his second season, I think he's done a tremendous job. You know, knowing where he's supposed to be in offense, where everybody else is supposed to be. Do you consider yourself a good downfield blocker? Now let's talk about that hit you put on Andre Williams and how good it must have felt. You know, first preseason game and you had people talking after that hit. Yeah, one thing I want to send a me message about our defense, we're going to be one of the best defenses in the NFL. And those hits really take a toll on, on some teams and, you know, they, they, they recognize when they, when they get in the open field that you know, they're going to get hit and they're going to get hit hard. A couple days till the next preseason game, what needs to be done in this game? Um, you know, we got two days of practice, uh, try and tighten things up and then hopefully just take this next step moving forward. I'm Alexander Vitale with BuffaloBills.com and right now I'm joined by Pro Football Hall of Fame's newest member, Andre Reed. Andre, thanks Hi, for Alex. being here. What's Hi, up? Andre. St. John's Fisher, yeah. Miss St. John Fisher. <laughs> Exciting few weeks you've had, I can mm -hmm. imagine, huh? Yeah, very. Uh, it was the week of my life, I tell you. Um, you have a future in broadcasting after football. Maybe. No, no, <laughs> no. I'm terrible on camera. He's not terrible on camera. Terrible. No. All right, Jonathan. If there's one thing you want the fans at home to know about you, what would it be? That I'm probably the best dancer on the team. 
Best dancer on the team. Probably the best dancer on the team. That's a pretty bold statement. Probably the best dancer in the AFC. Best dancer in the AFC? Yeah. Are you going to bust a move for us here? Yeah, I will. When, I'm, when I get out there on the field, I make some plays. I let the world see it. Oh, yeah. People will be watching. So. I see it. All right. Jonathan Meeks, defensive back for the Buffalo Bills. Thank you so much. And Thank you. And we'll be looking forward to seeing that dance move. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Duke Williams, safety for the Buffalo Bills. Thank you so much, and good luck to you. All right, Tony Moriaki, Bills tight end. Thank you so much, and good luck with your hamstring. Thank you. All right, Russ Brandon, president and CEO of the Buffalo Bills. Thank you so much.